Hello, Woo. hello. Welcome everybody to Studio MDAZ. We are four minutes late and we get it, but uh, sometimes, you know, stuff happens. Stuff happens right there at the last second. Like number one, you might have to tinkle. Number two, you might have to have your lipstick somewhere. I know. <laughs> I still don't feel like I have mine on, but anyway. Hi everybody. Hi Diana Rutledge. First one I saw today. I'm so glad you're here. Mary and old Donnie. I think it'd be a good idea for me to get on. Maybe mom could get on. Um, let's see who else is here. Joan is here. Hi Viv. Good afternoon all of our friends. Let me see. I feel like I need a different pair of glasses today. Barbara Craft is here. Hi friend. Hi April. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, Peggy Eden is watching. Sharon Halverson is here. Oh my gosh. How did so many of you jump on so stinking fast. I'm so impressed. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Chrissy. Uh, Debbie Freeman is here. Apparently, Mom is still well, trying no, to find not, us. I don't know what's wrong with this Linda thing, Davis though. is here. Hi, Janine. It Okay, I'm trying to... This is my home button, and look at now. It's not telling me... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, hold, maybe it's in my groups. Um, nope. Here, let me see. All right. I'm sorry. That's okay. Let's see. Facebook... You know what? I feel like every single time Facebook changes anything, I can't find anything. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Yeah. It that always is very came strange. right up when I went. I okay. know. Well, maybe it will the more you use it. Maybe you're just not following me, Mom. Maybe that's your problem. Maybe you just have your own world you know, of people honestly, that you truly, follow. I did Hi, hit, Kim Cochran. I did hit the follow button because Hi, it didn't Linda. Say follow Hi, me. Nancy Lewis. You guys, I'm telling you, it happens all the time. You think you're following me, but you're not. Because it, for some reason, even myself, it, it pushes me back off. So just always make sure every time you go live or any time that you are for sure following me. I'm trying to find, um, you know how I am. I need to find a better pair of glasses for Hi, today. Lynette. I look like a little oh, lady. Oh, thank you. We look beautiful, she said. Hi, really? Uh, those are more fun for me. Uh, Who did I miss? Hi, Keenan. Hi, Deborah. Okay, let's get started. Oh my gosh, we have 250 people watching already. Okay. So let's get started. Five after, let's go. Okay, ready for a great time, Elaine. Is. Day. Um, okay, gang, guess what we're doing today? So I think everybody has had enough, maybe for the time being anyway. Hi, Becky, of uh, Valentine's Day, and she hates it when I do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Valentine's Day, and I've got some Easter stuff I'm ready to start. Hi, Hi Diane. Angela. Hi, Debbie Knudsen. Uh, but today we're gonna do home decor. Here's why. I um, have all my family coming in this weekend and I've been uh, trying to finish this house completely. And so I've been working on that. And hold on, I just realized this is wet. <laughs> Give me one second. Ah. Roll it the other way. Sorry, it's totally wet, hold on. Anyway, I bought a bunch of stuff that's got like a teal distress look to it. And um, so I needed some decor to go with it. Thank you, Brenda. I got this sweater from, okay, that's it. Hold on, just give me one second. There we go. I got this uh, sweater from, uh, hello. I know, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Dead air. Uh, Chris Hunter, I did. I got oh, this from you? Chris Hunter. Um, Velvet Alley Boutique. Look how stinking cute. It's got some Louis Vuitton, it's got Converse. Um, Velvet Alley Boutique, Chris, uh, Chris Hunter. That's where awesome. I got this. Good so, job. okay. Hi, so Mar. I'm hoping you guys saw the before of this. And the before was, hi, Carly. Hi, hi, Dot. Is today Dot's birthday? No, yesterday was Dot's birthday. Happy birthday, Dot. Uh, anyway, I got this at St. Vincent de Paul. It was $8 and it was all brown wood and monkey wallpaper. Not that I have anything against monkeys, you guys, but I just thought I have wanted to do a magazine rack for a while, and I have some ideas for this one. So, magazine racks are honestly a little bit hard to come by. I didn't think they were, but I've been looking for a long time for just a normal rack, a uh, normal magazine rack like this, and this from St. Vincent de Paul. Sometimes you can find them at Goodwill, 
but also, um, I mean, even the stores don't have them, the craft stores don't have them, so you're gonna have to find them on uh, one of the thrift stores. Thank you so much, Lisa. Okay. Thank you all. Has you one. almost never the catch me live. Okay, did you take the wallpaper hey, off? Hey, Did I what? Take the wallpaper off. I did not take the wallpaper off. Great question. It was so on there that I what I did first, golly, you would think that mom and I just had lunch and a glass of wine, and then we just ran, ran in here and started, you know, going yeah, live. You'd think that. Uh, it's still a little wet, so hold on. No, I didn't take anything off. It, but that uh, wall, whatever the paper was, was down so tight. I didn't have to. I just painted right over it. Oh, never mind. Man, I said hot. she just watched you check an egg. Must have been another video. <sighs> that was like a year ago. Okay, uh, Rust Oleum Priming Bonding Primer. Now, the only reason I use the bonding primer and not the stain blocking primer because I didn't have the stain blocking primer. I'm nervous about what might happen with this because it had like that brown stain underneath, but I've got a couple of coats of paint on this. So I think we're gonna be okay. Hi, Connie. So, Rust-Oleum. Yeah, Gold has got three of them she's gonna do. Rust-Oleum Bonding Primer is a great primer, which would have been perfect for just the wallpaper, but because the rest of it was brown, I was gonna leave it brown originally, and then at the last second, I got sloppy, and you know how that goes. Once I got sloppy, I needed to redo it. Before we get started, I wanna show you something. So, uh, a lot of people ask me all the time, what is so different about your membership group? And this is not a sales pitch. I just want you to see what's different and what we did and what you can do. I had an old chest that someone had given me. It's dove, what's it called, dovetailing on the sides, is that? Uh, the right word, dove, dovetailing? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, where two pieces come together, it's like an old vintage kind of uh, build. Anyway, I'm gonna pull, let's just see, nobody gets sick. <gasps> okay, so that was plain. Do you want me to turn it a little bit? I don't think you can. I bet it's, I can. No, because it's the this side table. that I wanna see. Oh. It's this side I wanna see. So maybe, Mom, if you could, uh, but be very, very careful. I don't want it to fall off. So I want you guys to see the side. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. All right, perfect. So this is what we did in our class Monday night. This was, <laughs> well, thank you, Vanna. This was a plain white shelf and a chest. I keep my uh, printer on it and I completely redid it with decoupage paper and paint. And I just want you to know that's the kind of stuff. Dove, uh, dovetail construction is the best. Well, that's what this one is. But I just want you to know, that's the kind of stuff we're doing. Uh, we did an entire furniture class Monday night. And so once you join our membership for 25 bucks a month, everything else is free, including all of our classes for the month. So anyway, uh, I wanted you to see that because I'm actually really proud of it. So. All right, hi Brenda. Hi, in Carol. the same vein, today we're gonna do something a little bit smaller. We're Carol gonna do said it's actually a commode. <laughs> actually, it probably could be. So, okay. So in my new living room, I'm going with teals and um, like, uh, it's kind of a heavy, fat, heavy, um, okay, heavy furniture. So I've got brown leather. I've got some gold, but it's mostly brown leather. I have these two huge niches around my fireplace that I put in some of this teal and brown uh, old wood doors that I completely redid. So if you saw my before picture, you'll see I completely painted those. I got them on the country door and they came and they were just blue. They were fine, but they weren't great. So today I went through and did a lot of antique waxing and distressing and gold rub and buff and turned those around. So now I need some teal colors for my magazine rack. So let me tell you what we're gonna do. We're using, how many different, we're using three different types of papers today. So this one is gonna go here. So we're gonna do this uh, floral here. I wish I had two of the exact same floral. This one is by Posh Chalk. So this would be Would You Bend or Posh Chalk. And it's adorable, it is so pretty. And this is called Bouquet of Flowers. But you can see, if you saw my before picture, this is almost identical to what my new doors look like. One of our gals has that same paper, Judy. You do, Judy? Uh, Judy who? 
Judy, okay, it, uh, it's a studio Judy. All Judy. right, Judy, I want to know who. Uh, hold on, I'm going to, Judy Gilger. Hi, Judy, well, I'm glad you have it. So, but I didn't have two pieces. I really wanted two pieces, and I didn't know Judy had it. Otherwise, I would have called her ahead of time. <laughs> but here's what you can do. This is very similar. I'm going to do this on the other side. However, I'm going to paint, if you can believe it, I'm going to paint this a uh, teal color down here to match this one. That's right. That's what you can do with decoupage. So we're going to do that on the sides. And then on the large sides. So that's what we're doing on the ends. On the, end, yeah. on the sides, look at this. I awesome. love that teal. Isn't that spectacular? And this is, who'd you say, Mom? Hi, Sue. This is, um, uh, what is it? Decoposh yeah, Queen? Decoposh Queen. Okay, this is by Decoposh Queen. This is rice paper. So I'm using one decoupage paper from D Zazzle. I'm using a rice paper from Would You Bend or Posh Chalk. And then I'm using a rice paper by Decoposh Queen. I've got to tell you, lately, you guys, I am all about Decoposh Queen papers. They go on so nice. And we will uh, post all the numbers of these yes, papers we will. Once, the, once the broadcast is over. So I'm going to grab what I love. Who was the second paper from? Is that this one? Uh, the second paper is this one. And That's this Zazzle. is Zazzle. And if you just type in um, with Zazzle, isn't that so pretty, you guys? It's a great size. If you type in uh, floral decoupage paper on Zazzle, you're going to get hundreds of options. They, the only problem with them is they don't number them. So I have no idea the name or the number of I that do. one. But just put in um, what I floral said. Floral decoupage paper. Floral decoupage paper and you'll get a ton of it. So, okay, let's get started. And I'm gonna use, this is what I love. This is liquid patina. This is Deb's DIY liquid patina. And we buy this from Vintage Retail Therapy. VintageRetailTherapy.com. This is our friend Mara. She is an online crafter and creator and she's a genius. And so she has a studio full of products. So we always prefer to buy from her. Deb's DIY Liquid Patina. Why am I doing this instead of Mod Podge, you ask? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Mod Podge is too thick, and I have found that with Mod Podge, I get horrible wrinkles. When I don't use Mod Podge, when I just use like something like this, like a top coat, you could use any kind of a clear coat. You go on Amazon and just type in clear coat. Any of those clear coats will work, and they'll work better than the Mod Podge, the Mod Podge is just too thick, but if you water down your Mod Podge, if you have a bunch of Mod Podge, just water it down and it'll be okay. Okay, so, uh, Amanda said that's a great product. She loves it. Which one? I want you showing the liquid. Patina. Oh, the yeah, the liquid patina is amazing. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead. Let me move that. Plate. Hi, Julie. Hi, Liz. Hey, Melissa. So the first one I'm using is Posh Talk or would you been, and it's called Bouquet of Flowers. Liz is on, Liz Let me get Simpson. Everything out of okay. my way. Okay, and now we're gonna try and do the burn technique today. We haven't done it in a while, and I think we need to. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. So here's what I'm gonna do. Tracy wants to know if you've ever it's had straight. Mod Podge dry sticky. Mod Podge Dry Sticky. I don't remember seeing anything like that. I I don't think so. I mean, I do, I've had pretty good luck with it. Hi, Donna. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just dipping in my, this is all I'm doing. I'm Paula, dipping in my liquid patina. Our and I'm from Tucson loves that too. I'm this. just going down a little bit of a ways, you guys. So when you're doing any type of decoupage, you know, just do a little bit at a time. You're not trying to save the world right away. But I want to get as much. Lori uh, Roberts, the burn technique. <laughs> I know Lori was the first one I did it with. She's on. Lori and I did it. And we were so stinking proud of ourselves. Hi Kim. 
Okay, look, if you just do a little bit at a time, you're gonna have so much better luck with this. So I'm just doing a little bit at a time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go down and finish the rest. You guys, my friend Lori's flying into Arizona Friday. Hi, Irene. So excited, my brother's coming, my kids are coming. As glue, I only use the matte Mod Podge, but the liquid, what? The liquid patina is a superior product. I mean, look it's at this, candid. you yeah. guys. It's, there's not one wrinkle on New, this thing. New Zealand's on. Hi, New Zealand. So I'm gonna go back through it. You can see I'm trying to go heavy. Oopsie. No worries, Mom, just I, I, hang on over there. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> How funny is this? So last night, I, I, Bill and I had gone to a new restaurant, and afterwards, I just did not feel very good. I hadn't felt that great all day yesterday, so we go to this new restaurant. The food was absolutely delicious. I come home, and I, I, I don't feel great, so I say to Bill, I need to drink some ginger ale and bitters or something. And he goes, okay, we'll go get a glass. So I go get a glass, and as I pull it out of the cupboard, of course, you guys know, because I'm so clumsy, it, uh, I pulled it out, and it dropped on my uh, granite or whatever that is, oh. shattered everywhere. Oh. And you know when you don't feel good, you guys, I was like, oh, at that point, I'm just about in tears because I've just about had it with my whole day and my life at that point. Yeah. And Bill's like, really? Like, are, are we this upset over this? No, Bill. But it just, oh, it just, I, it's a broken bunny and it's the, the pits, right? I, I just hate being so clumsy and I don't know why I am. All right, hi, let me cut some hi, of this Pat. off. Hi, D. We're gonna, Susie, hi. Because you guys know, if you're using the burn technique, God, mom, no wonder my scissors don't work because they're crappy. There we go. They are terrible. The less uh material or paper you have the better off you're going to be with your burn technique hi sissy i am just going to sit here Absolutely. And, if, and if you mom just sits here and looks pretty every day that's her job yeah. if you mom just sits here oh my gosh if you guys have not seen the burn technique yet you're in for a treat because it is one of my favorite things to do we haven't done it done it hi, in Sarah. quite a while so okay so now you want to grab a lighter and, uh, all right, here we go. Is it makes me nervous. All right, so look what it does. It just goes right along the edge and pulls all the paper right off, right up to where you need it. And I do have water right here, so no worries. Let's keep going. Let's get it down there further. Where's your uh, the sweater is from Chris Hunter. Is that crazy, you guys? And then we'll go around the edges and make it even closer. But there is something about this pyromaniacs that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Chris Hunter's, the name of her deal is what? Velvet what? Velvet Alley Boutique. Velvet so Alley So let me just say, Boutique. what stops the fire from ruining everything is all of the glue. And when you're doing a napkin, it goes so much faster than this. It'll just whip right around. With the um, rice paper, it doesn't go quite near as fast. And I've got an awful lot of paper right there, so. And I probably got a lot of, awful lot of glue right there too. So give it a second, there we Candace go. Candace said it's satisfying to burn the edges. I swear to you, it is. I don't know it. what it is about it, but it is fascinating to it me. It smells good. That it just, look, you get like a perfect. Edge. Edge every time. Don't set off your smoke alarm, Marcia says. But. If you've got a lot of, like I have, have you a, got one in here? Yeah, you do. I've got a ton of uh, the paste of the um, sealer right there. So look, it's not even touching that. So let's come up here, see if we can get it to grab onto that a little bit easier. Okay, Lori just, Lori Musman just got here. What medium are you using? I use the liquid patina. Okay. Uh, Deb's DIY design. Diary liquid patina. Hey Mary, thank you. You honey. see that? I'm gonna do a little bit, and then I'm gonna let the rest of this dry, and then we'll come back and finish that up after we do the other side, because there's so much paste on that right now, it's not touching it yet. But you can already see, like, look down here. 
you're gonna get a perfect edge on that every single time. So let's do the other side. Okay, hi Carol and Kimberly. Yes, 1100 on balls. Is Kimberly. there anybody that has never seen that burn technique? Because it really is Raise your fun. hand. Raise your hand and we'll see you. Okay, let's do the same thing. Yeah. I'm gonna is go ahead and start. Is this technique new? OSHA approved? OSHA approved, absolutely not OSHA approved, but is it a new technique? Um, no. But it's, is it new to you, our, our viewers? Is it new to you? Uh, I've been okay, doing it Mary for- said it was new to her. I've been doing it for a couple years. Okay, Joan Hoffman, it's new to her. Really? Oh my gosh, yeah. you guys, when you're doing- Laurel McKenzie, yeah. new. Kelly, never saw it. You guys, when you're doing letters, any type of letters, oh and you're gosh. doing decoupage with letters, do we have some, can you find us some letters? I know we've got something yeah. with letters on it. I want you to see. Let's get something with letters in a napkin. And oh, on, a, on a napkin? Yes, you guys will be floored how this works. Okay, let me, before we do that though, let's go ahead and get this finished down. You're not gonna believe. Uh, the first time I did this, my friend Lori and I, we, I watched Beth from Rekindle Blessings do it, but she had learned it from somebody else and right this second, I can't remember the name of the lady that she learned it from, but now so many people have done it. Any napkin, it doesn't matter. Um, we've got words. You've got beverage napkins. You want one of those. It doesn't matter, Mom. Whatever you... No, not words on beverage napkins. I need word, like a wood word. Wood words. So that they can see when you put a napkin on words, how fast it goes. Like wood words, like oh. hello or oh, something. Okay. Okay. Did y'all hear her say wood words? I think they did. I think they all knew exactly what I meant. I don't think so. Okay, so I'm just going to cut. I don't want to cut all of it off because I might be able to use some of this for something. But the less paper you have to deal with, the um, the less fire you're going to have. Like this? Perfect. Wow. I yeah, perfect, Mom. Okay. Every once in a while, she <laughs> nails it. Every once in a while. Let me get this off. I'm so excited for those of you that have never seen this before. Okay, do you want like something like this? Yeah. Okay, now you can see, I was watching mom. I got a little screwed up down there, but I can, we'll go in, put some more in and fix yeah. it. Keep your all right, on. we're gonna move all the paper out of the way. I've got water right here. So if anything were to happen, I'm right here. So we can douse the fire. Okay. Okay, so first of all, I'm not gonna do the outside yet. Let's see if we get a better burn with not. And the window's open. Yes, look, if you don't decoupage the top part first, you'll get a better burn, look. It's okay, I know it's scary, but you're okay. Everybody's okay. You get a much better burn if you don't do the top yet. And then we'll go through, look at that. It's kind of scary, but it's exciting. I should be doing this in my kitchen at the sink, but you know, we're all about the fear factor here. Uh, Is that crazy? <laughs> okay. Sue said, I do the burn technique over my kitchen sink because I'm terrified. I know, but look, it the glue stops it. So you saw, it stops it every time. But look at that, once I sand it down, We've got a perfect, uh, hold on, let me find it. So look, once you do this, use your, look at that. Yeah, this firefighter's wife's a little nervous. Yeah, I know. Cindy Davis. I was married to a firefighter, and he would have had a heart attack if he watched me do this. But look, use your emery board, get everything off. Micheline's eyes are wide open. <laughs> I will, um, like I said, I'm gonna have to redo that little section down there, but it's no big deal, nobody will ever know. And it, all of this comes off perfectly. Betty Clock is blowing on her screen. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Trust me, we get a little nervous each time too, I'm not gonna lie. 
but it's so fun to do. Mary said it's a great way to de decoupage on metal. Yes, I can't wait for you to see. Okay. Yeah, Brenda said you're a professional. You don't so need look, to do it. You get things. literally a perfect every time. So let me show this to you on. You're gonna be excited. Let me show this to you with on a piece of wood letters. Wood letters. Mom got it right. With a napkin, because a napkin burns better than anything. Oh, I gotta take the napkin apart though, I right? Will. I'll get it. Oh. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna do is get all your plies off. This is like a twofer today. Uh, you're rubbing the fire with the stem of a propane lighter. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look. Nobody said we were geniuses over here, you guys. We just said we're crafters. Uh, but, like I said, the only time you would... Now, what, tell them what you're doing. Well, I'm just taking the plies off of a napkin, as you know. There's three plies generally on a napkin. When you're doing any kind of decoupage, you've got to get the plies off. So, here it is. Just a plain wood word says hello. <laughs> Lori said she didn't know what you meant either. So Lori Roberts, it, yeah, oh, I do brother, that for the for the wood wood letters, I, I, or the letters. I don't okay, know. so look, I I'm just going to give this a coat of the decoupage, and now we're going to put our our uh, napkin right over top of it, smooth it down, easy peasy. Lori knows. We're like now, experts Laura on this McKenzie now. Said she can't wait to use her kitchen torch for this. <laughs> it is so satisfying. I'm not going to lie. It is, there's something so incredibly satisfying about it. And the first time I showed Bill, he said, uh, that doesn't look very safe. I go, no, it's not. That's why it's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me get a little bit more. I didn't have enough on here. Let's get in a little bit more decoupage on here. Okay, Irene said she did the burn technique in high school in 1972. See, everything it's comes back around. Yeah. Everything comes back around. Okay. okay, just a napkin. Wait till you see this. Here we go. Is that insane? So when you're doing letters, any type of words... Look at that. Okay. Oh, now you know. Is that insane? Okay, now, then you're gonna go through. Yeah, they're saying you like playing with fire. I kinda do. And then I do a little poke inside anywhere where it needs to be, you know, where there's a little section in the middle. And then I do it again. Now, they always said to go from the bottom up, but it never works for me. I always do from the top down. Yeah, Kelly said, holy moly, that's fast. Isn't it? Yeah. But Uber, isn't Uber that cool crazy? Saying. Paget said, hi. Look no at how it just... No more sanding for me. That's what Kelly's saying. I am telling you guys, once you've done this, you won't do anything else. Now, okay. I got too close to that one, so Gloria, that was my fault. Go Gloria said, go to Dollar Tree and get some scissors. You're stressing her out. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah Byer living on the edge. Come on, you guys. You know this is why you watch me, just in case I like, burn my fingers <laughs> off or something. But, I mean, without doing this professionally, is that insane? So, uh, burn technique. Hello. It works. It's amazing. And, uh, but you want to be, you want to be safe. But how crazy is that? But if you want to see a few uh, firemen come to your door, it's just true. Go if you've for been it. looking for a fireman or two. So, the key to that is number one, you've got to have, you don't want to have too much excess paper on your project. Cut off as much as you can, and then you want to decoupage the bottom. Lisa says it's perfect every time. Uh, you know what? Honestly, if you're a crafter and you're doing this, you know it is perfect every single time. Why? I don't know. Whoever thought to start doing that, Lori can you imagine? Well, make sure you're in your kitchen and you can throw it in the sink if it goes wrong. But can you imagine being the one that started this just with your little, um, you know, you've got your uh, fire out there and you're like, I wonder what this would look like. All right, so now that we've got this done, 
all you're gonna do, look at this, is take your emery board and pop it all right back off. Well, Lisa said she just left home goods. Oh, We're gonna do some antiquing. Buddy. So don't worry about anywhere where it's come off. Is this crazy? Okay, it truly is the best. It is the best and it gives you the perfect, can you imagine an edge any more perfect than that? As, and especially as quick as I did it. Kathy Dean said, don't get that close to your smoke, inspect, smoke detector. She knows from experience. <laughs> Look at that. Um, so you can use a sanding block. I've started using an emery board, you guys, because it's just so much. I have more control over an emery board. Easier for me to handle with my hand. Crazy, and now we're gonna do gold all along that edge, so I'm not worried about that. Those of you who are asking about the papers, we're gonna post all the paper information just as soon as we're done, and then you can order. There's paper from Zazzle, there's paper from Decoupage Queen, and there's paper from Woodjabed. Yeah, we, we're using a number of different papers today. Is that nuts? I mean... Hi, Martha. Sorry, that noise is probably a little annoying, but I don't have a lot of choice right now, so I wanna get it off. And you can see I'm working against, so I'm working back towards me. Hi, Greta. Gre is that Greta Lodke? Uh -huh. Greta, I started watching your video of your story. I had to go, so I didn't get to finish it, but I'm gonna go back and finish it. I just wanted you to know, I would like for you to post that on Sisterhood, if you would, because I think it's a fabulous story and everybody needs to know about it. So, if you would hey, do Lynette. that for me. And Margaret, fun times. Sharon says you need to slow down, Debbie. You've been going, going, going for days. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have. She but... doesn't know how to do that. Um, here's my biggest issue, you guys. I've got, uh, you know, this is my finally, I'm doing my wedding reception this weekend. So I'm trying to get my whole life straightened out before then. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So let's go ahead and get this side done real quick. Okay, Gloria, I just want you to understand that not everybody's going to get a pink pencil because we ran out. We don't have enough. So we tried, but I'm ordering to... more. So eventually you'll get one. Eventually, but you're not getting, you may not get one. I, I don't remember exactly now how many I've had, but if you don't get one, it's because we ran out. Yeah, it, there wasn't like we didn't say, well, we like this person more. It just, we were trying to do whoever we could. And yeah. then. Uh, thank you, Lynn. That's they so just sweet. ran out. But they are fabulous. And they were a gift. So it really is. It was a miracle I even offered to give those away. Because I was feeling extremely Lisa, stingy your, with those. Your pencil and your brushes are on the way. I know that. I mailed a bunch out this morning. She said her invite must have gotten lost in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> well, we finally have a lot of family coming, you guys, and that yes. is super duper duper. A, in a blended situation, you end up with a ton of family. But it is so exciting that we've got most of the family coming yeah. on both sides. Right. So, okay, look at that. So now we've got our sides done. Can you believe how quick that is? Let me get this stuff out of the way. You are gonna have ash, just so you know. You're gonna have, it's not the cleanest project, but it's uh, it sure is a ton of fun to do. Ben Roberts wants to know how many people you're expecting. Well, We've I invited 65, and that is family plus, um, some of your old friends. Yeah, some of my close friends here in uh, Arizona. My best friend Lori, her and her uh, husband are flying in. My brother's flying in. My kids are driving in. My son's flying in. So it's a big deal. And 
Sarah, her sweater came from Velvet again. Something. Velvet Alley Boutique with Velvet Chris Hunter. You guys, it's so cute. I have two of them. I have this one. And then uh, someone also sent me the Marilyn Monroe one. So this is more of the designer one, but then there's a Marilyn Monroe one. I don't wear it very often, but when I do, I get a million compliments on it. Lisa, yes. Debbie's kids, Debbie's mom. Yes. And Debbie's brother is coming. That's, yes. From my is. family, yes. Plus Lori. Yeah. And um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get some decoupage down on this. And then I'm going to go back and fill in some of the spots. Are you going to get another balancing bunny? Um, yes, I am, as a matter of fact. One of my sweet sisters, one of our sisters in my sisterhood, found one for me locally. So I'm going to try well, and get my money back from the other one that broke. And then I've got someone who found me one here, which is so, so and sweet. And I stopped the Tuesday morning this morning. Before, you did? Yes, and they weren't open. They, oh, they, they weren't, weren't open. open. Okay. Yeah. So, so I was going to try. God, I don't even know why I use those scissors. All right, this paper, you guys, I absolutely love. I've had so many ideas I was gonna do with this, but it's perfect for the colors and what I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and just... Well, Lynn, I think she is gonna take Friday off. Cut it in half. I am taking Friday off, so yeah. you guys, I They just said go ahead and take it off. Oh, you guys are sweet. Thank you yeah. for, my, for that permission. Yeah. Um, I'm taking Friday off and that's why I'm working tomorrow morning. So I will be in studio tomorrow morning. And um, I think we're doing an Easter project tomorrow, you guys. I have so many darling Easter ideas that um, I think we need to kind of start thinking about it because I don't want to get to a point where we're doing nothing but Easter, nothing but Valentine's Day. So I'm really trying to mix up home decor, uh, Easter, and Valentine's Day. Oops. So yeah. this is rice paper. This is decoupage queen. Love her paper. And um, okay, so look. Now I want you to see. Oh, isn't that so pretty? But there's a little bit of a gap on each side. No worries. We're gonna use some would you bend and fill it in. And I was just telling mom, if I had enough form flex right now made up, I would have used that. I really would have because there's so many fun different designs with form flex, but I um, don't have anything made up right now, and so I really wasn't prepared. So, Sissy, we will be ordering. Let's more. go down. I want to get this right in the middle. I'm gonna do a little bit of would you bend on either side. Yeah, look Carol at that. Davis said, bring on the Easter project for favorite. You're holiday. ready? Okay, yeah. good, because I'm ready too. I just didn't know if you guys were ready. <gasps> Can you guys even believe? Look how ugh. okay. Judy decoupage Pace. is the best. Judy Pace used her brush last night. What a difference when doing the check. She I'm so them. happy Isn't about I that. Gonna, we told you you're gonna love it. Okay, then look, you guys. Before I even decoupage the top, I'm gonna sand the bottom off, and it comes off perfect. Caroline Butler said, "I love how you mix it up. We don't get holiday burnout." Uh, yeah, because you guys, I get burned out uh, just... Christmas was a burnout. <laughs> I did get burned out on Christmas, and I get burned out on um, fall and Halloween easy. But, okay, with... I mean, come on. Look at that. Hi, Kathy. Isn't that so pretty? I love that paper. So, that's that. That's down. So, let me do the rest with one more coat. I'm going to do a top coat of the... Uh, the Deb's Design Diary, the liquid patina. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's down. Let's do the other side. Uh, I just love, look at the colors. They're beautiful. So pretty, and it just works. And then we're going to do like an antique, um, excuse me. Lisa, we're going to do like an antique on right the other now. side. <laughs> where's where's She's Peggy? On. Peggy's here. She said hi to me. I didn't have a chance to respond. All right, so I'm just going to cut this in half. And you know, you never throw anything away because we could use it for something else. You guys, we have over 1,200 eyeballs today. That's a good day. Okay. That's Somebody a good day in our world. Some, what's going on in Scottsdale? Out of water? What, what, what are we talking about? You know what? About? Somebody private messaged me about that. You guys, we know nothing about it. I've not, not heard anything about it. This is like when I used to live in Kansas City, Missouri. Um... 
my friend Lori would hear on the news that there's all kinds of tornadoes in Kansas City, and she would call me and say, are you okay? And i say, I don't even know what you're talking about. I think it's the same thing. You know how you hear on the news all this stuff, but I don't know anything about that they are turning our water off. Somebody said that she heard that they were turning water off. I hope not, because I'm drinking tap right now. Yeah, they were going to turn our water off in the foothills of Scottsdale because we were so... We we're in such a bad drought, and I was like, that makes zero a sense to me. Done yeah, nothing but rain. rain. I said, that makes zero days. sense to me, so I don't know. Marianne said, this is coming together nicely. It's going to be really pretty, and... Thank you, Mary, for posting that. You guys know, normally I sell everything I do, but lately... Lori Shore used to live in Liberty, Missouri. You did? That's where my ex-husband's entire family is from, is Liberty. And I loved yeah, being in Liberty. Scottsdale turned the water off to unincorporated Look areas. At this. I don't oh, know. unincorporated areas. Okay. Well, luckily I'm incorporated, I assume. But you guys, go out. I went to CVS and got a whole um, package uh, these, uh, this size emery boards, and I use them all the time. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Lo it's Lois a said she doesn't watch the news. She watches Andy Griffith. It keeps her calm. Oh my gosh. You know, Lisa said, okay, 125. Well, if yeah. I have to. Well, Peggy hasn't jumped on yet. <laughs> Pam Elliott, Scottsdale has water and not sharing it with the other towns. Really? Is this crazy, you guys? So look, all right. So what I want to do is we want to add, as soon as this dry dries, I'm going to add some teal to that. But there's a side. Look at that. All that teal in there is so pretty. And then another teal. Three different companies. Three we're going to post it all to you as soon as we're done, guys. Three different companies. Three different papers. But somehow it all works. So let's go ahead and get some. Uh, let's try this. This is also by Mara, vintageretailtherapy.com, and I absolutely love it. Wait, is it? Okay. No, no, it's not. I lied. This is by DIY Paint Company. I don't think it's Mara. I'm not sure. But it's golden, it is Mara, it's DIY. Same, same company as the Debs Paint, sorry. DIY Paints, and this is called Golden Rule, and it is a gold wax. I just used it on my, um, the big boards I just put outside. Sam Laird loves the stripes. Sandra Rose is, is sprinkling you. Irene Stringer, I lived in Kansas City when I was based there. You did? Okay, well, it's uh, not dark TV enough, TV. so, okay. I needed to make sure, so what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and add, can I add a paper? No, hold on. Okay. You guys know, you never know. I thought it would be a little bit darker than that was. So now, yeah, I'm gonna wipe Lynn. that off and it we're gonna do amazing. our liquid gold. So, yeah. let's do our liquid gold on there which is gonna make a nice difference. Rub and buff, yeah, it didn't, uh, the rub and buff, even that I tried earlier and that didn't work. I just thought for sure this would, but it didn't. So I'm gonna do our liquid gold and look at that. Of course, it's gonna work perfect. And when I come to this area right here, I've got my brush flat because I don't want to go over too much. Barbara Craft wants to know if they're going to get another tour of your house since it's finished. Uh, it's getting there, I would say. We still have a little to go yet, right? Yeah, if you're in my membership group, you'll, you'll get a preview of the party on Saturday. So, oh my gosh, okay. There is the game changer right there. So let's do the sides. That gold is, without question, the game changer. And I'm just using, believe it or not, I'm using one of my, um, I'm using a Zen brush, but I am because it's working so perfect even for this. Diane, uh, that sign behind her was one she did last year. 
Which one? The love sign. Yes, we on. had those made. We're the only ones that have those. Yeah, we had them made this, specifically. This, so, uh, Irene, it's on Sisterhood Videos, I'm sure. Vicki, Bill has four children. Yeah, Bill has four. I have two. And then we've got a whole bunch of grandkids together. And we've got great, great grandkids. But this is an adult only party because I thought, you know, we've got 20 grands and great grands between us. And I thought, I, I love them, but I didn't want our wedding reception to be a bunch of kids. I just didn't. And we have a pool and it's not fenced in. So, um, I mean, there's just, for me, there was no way I was taking a chance on anything. Caroline Butler wants to know, Hi, did Caroline. you do a similar, did we do this room similar to your other studio? Almost identical, yeah, which is so good eyeballs. Yes, yeah. almost identical to the way it looked before. And here's why. I did a poll and asked a whole bunch of people did they like my craft, my new craft table, my new craft room, or did they like it better with me sitting at this desk with this stuff behind me? And they majority said, yeah. ruled, and yeah. everybody said they liked it better with me sitting down. They want to know what size brush you're using right now. Oh, great question. Hold on. This is a number six. We don't use number yeah. six very often, right. but oh my gosh, look at that all right i want to do this side and then we're going to go ahead and put our wood bend on and i want you to see that you keep that brush for gold only only gold only that is correct so if you're buying more brushes from us you can maybe afford to have one that you only use for your gold yeah pam says that gold is a great finish on there it really is. It's what it needed. And um, Carol, I... Carol, you're out of the loop with what's going on, Carol Loopy. She's doing a magazine rack. Or are you talking about my wedding reception? Or are you talking about her party? It's just that Bill and I got married in November, and we've been waiting for a chance for everybody to get together. I guess it wasn't enough just to have mom there, right? <laughs> is that what somebody <laughs> said, or is that what no, you said? That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it was just my mom and Bill and I and our pastor and his wife, uh, for my wedding. So, yeah, I have said from the get-go, it hasn't really felt like we're married yet. So I'm hoping that after I do this, it will, but here's what's funny. Well, and none of the family was able to be here. No, so. nobody was here. And I mean, nobody was really invited either. We just, we felt like, I mean, I wasn't about to wear a white dress, you know. Anyway, <laughs> with a veil over your yeah, face. I wasn't about to do any of that stuff, so I thought, you know what? I so what's even funnier though is I went out yesterday, it was my day off, so I went shopping to find something to wear that I felt good in, and you know, of course, I bought a black dress because that's what I feel good in, and uh. So I thought, is that appropriate? And I think it's fine. Who cares? Okay, Carol Loopy, now maybe you're caught up. She said she was talking about your life in general. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Carol, I hadn't, I feel like I hadn't talked to her. And in a he while. inherited 800 sisters with Yes, his and he's very happy about that. <laughs> but not as happy as apparently Bob is about that. I think Bob, mom's husband, gets, he was even more excited about that. <laughs> option uh Susie q and the Susie q and the cruisers. cruisers she said mom will be at both so extra special that's right okay so i'm gonna do some gold down these sides Hi, right here and then watch we're gonna put the hey kim would you bend there are you back are you off work today okay hi gail yeah she you should see her pretty dress it's so pretty, very, uh, very youthful. It is. That's what I'm thinking. Is it too youthful, Mom? No. You no, sure? No, no, no. It's very elegant. It's just perfect, and yet it's not like for like you wouldn't wear it to the Queen's ball. But I mean, it's just a really pretty dress. It's very feminine. But I'm not much of a dress person, so it's a struggle for me. Because uh, I'm so much more comfortable like in pants or pants. Hi, Australia. Pants suit. Hi, Australia. 
Uh, Yvette, what time is it there? I'm always interested. Maybe it's tomorrow. All right, let me spray this real quick and then I want to put our witch bin down. Yeah, Kenny, we were on, we come on at two, which would be probably, I don't know what time in India, it's your time, it's your time. But we come on two mountain time. Gina, it looks awesome. You with guys the gold look, trim. I know, look at how pretty that trim just really pulls together. Okay, so when you're using Wujibin, let's see how much I have. I hope I have enough. I think I do. One, two, three, four. I think I will. All right, Wujibin. So you want to get it all heated up. So we're going to heat it up, and then it, um, you're only 60. <laughs> Tim Hoffman said the reason you can't find magazine racks is supposedly they're out of fashion for home decor. What is? A magazine rack. Well, we're bringing them back. We're single-handedly right. bringing magazine racks and back, you guys. Just like the track suit. The track suit and everything else we do, we're bringing it back. So Tara Bland wants to know, is it a fancy party? Um... I don't know about fancy. I am having it catered uh, because if I don't, my mom will do all the work and that's not what I wanted. So not that she doesn't do a great job, but I didn't want her to have to do any work. Oh, she covered that one really good. No, it's true. Uh, so I'm having it catered and I do have, um, I do have a server, I have a server coming that's gonna help, you know, just kind of take care of everything for us. In Australia, it's almost nine o'clock in the morning, Thursday. Almost nine o'clock in the morning, Thursday. So yeah. Okay, so look, you guys, I just used. Lisa, Barbara, did you think we could hear a word look, you were saying? I know. With blow dry. Would you bend? <laughs> okay, let me get this stuck down. This is just would you bend? I used a uh, tight bond which is what works the best. And look, all that does is it's gonna fill in that gap and then we're gonna paint it gold. Okay, Trice. So let's do the other side. I think her name is Trice, Trice Hodge. Do you have to paint? Trisha, Trisha Hodge. Well, no, it's T-R-E-A-S-E. -E. Oh. See? We have a Trisha Hodge, that's yeah, what I well, thought. Wait, this is Trieste. Okay. Anyhow, do you clean your gold brush with turpentine? No, I clean it with vegetable oil. So oil cleans oil, so I clean it with vegetable oil. Yeah. Awesome. So okay. when you do wood you bend, you have to heat it up and then it, you know, it unravels. Okay, now they're finding them at Goodwill and the Bush Oh, for and sure. Exactly yes, where... you guys can find these. Now I'm using uh, Tight Bond because I find that it works the best with Would You Bend. Oh, Susie, you're tight so bond. sweet. And then I'm just going to push that down. Okay. And it is so simple. And then you can just take your scissors and cut it right off. Irene, yeah, bringing back sweater sets too. Oh, that's right, I did bring back sweater sets. But yeah. as you can see, that one didn't really take off yet, but it's going to, I'm sure of it. Okay, Pam, Would You Bend is one of our products that we use, and I think Mary probably has a link for it, and she'll pop it up for you. I'm using it, there we go. Okay, so now we've got that Would You Bend on to cover up those two open areas, and if I put yeah. the gold, wait till you see this, the gold over top of this, it is so pretty. Vivian said, I bet your handyman son wants to come to your party. Uh, yes, he does, as a matter of fact, but uh, we're- He'll be there just prior. We're keeping it on the down low, Viv. <laughs> okay, who's what? Who's at work? Kathy Bellhazen, she's watching with the sound off. Kathy, I Kathy, I feel like we haven't seen you in a while. Um, is it better to paint the would you bend first than glue it on? Uh, I tried to at one point a while ago, but then you have to um, heat it up to get it on. So I do find that if I paint it afterwards, I get a better look. So okay. look how pretty that Shirley is. Shirley said your glue bottle is laying on its side. It is, but nothing's coming but out so of it. It's so thick. It is so thick. Nothing's coming out of it. Oh, but Debbie Waddell said maybe all of us sisters could 
toast you and Bill at a certain time. Not sure it would work, but it would sure be fun. Uh, we will definitely do that, Debbie. Great, great idea. great idea. That's a great idea, it. and we will do that. I promise. So go get your glass okay, ready. Okay, look at that. How that just filled in that spot, and now I need to do the other side. But before I do that, I want to show you how I can change the color of decoupage. Lisa said she's not sure she likes the would you bend on this. Maybe bling would have been. You better. guys, it had no. This isn't a. This is not a blingy kind of thing. Yeah. It really isn't. I will probably do all the rest of this and here in gold. I'm gonna have to because I don't love the white. If anything, maybe that's what you're not liking is the white because that's what I'm not liking. Yeah, Beth McMullen. When but, did sweater sets go out? She didn't know they were out. Exactly. I actually really like the would you bend, you guys. Let's take a let's take a a vote. Do you guys hate it? Because it's I could still get it off if nobody likes it, but. Debbie, I don't I know like if it. they're processed through Meta. Uh, it all goes through Cali, and I just stay out of that end of it. I just ship them out. For? <laughs> the brushes. Does, do all the payments get processed through Meta? Oh, gosh. I, Even don't, I don't know that. We don't that. know that. Uh, I don't know. We do some through, don't, doesn't PayPal? Oh, they're loving, they want a toast. Now they're all talking about it. They would love to do a toast. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Um... Yeah, we'll do. We'll definitely do something that night. I'll have to corner him, and and then you could maybe. You'll have to them. remind me that we do that right. and let them know or early in the day what time it will be. So yeah, that they don't and then we'll have it. mom on, on in charge of that. Okay. Oh, okay. So, like here, I need to get the gold and the teal on the bottom. So I'm gonna grab. All I did was grab an ocean breeze. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of burnt umber with it because by itself, it would never be a good color. It's still not right. So let me grab some blue. Um, you guys, your eyeballs can always see, if you really look at it, your eyeballs should always be able to see what other color am I missing? And in this case, I was definitely missing a blue like a royal blue. Let's see, let's grab some more brown. Oh, Patricia said she likes it now that it's gold, the would you bend. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's just see, let's. Nadine likes it very much, leave it on. No, it's still not Sissy right. Likes it. All right, we gotta get, let's get some green on it. It's not funny, you know there's a color that it's missing still, so I'm just gonna keep messing with colors yeah. till I find it. Oh, Colleen, thank you. A toast would be a blessing to you. Yeah. So this is the color I'm trying to create. Okay, Beth likes the paper, but not the would you bend. Really? Now and then somebody else is a thumbs up on the would you bend. Did you hear that would you bend? Oh, did you heat it up? I did. What is it that you guys don't like about it? Now I'm, I'm really interested to know. And it's okay. We can we can talk openly here. No one's gonna no one's gonna right. judge. Nobody's gonna yeah. But I, I am that. interested to know because I'm I'm about to do some uh, you know stuff with Wijibend and I want to know if you guys don't like it. If it's um, is it just that you don't like it on here? Yeah. Or what you is just it? don't like it? Okay. Hi, Kim. You got, you got a telegram? Okay. Okay, so hold on. I'm still working on it. Don't panic yet. But this is a whole vase that I'm going to pull up. Brenda likes it. She said it adds great texture. Lisa, uh, Siler, I don't love Would You Bend. Um, as a whole or... Well, I'm really interested in this now, Cheryl you guys. Cheryl said I like it for the texture. Yeah. Uh, Roxanne likes it. Tara, it looks a little heavy on this side. Um, Kim said, now I've got to tell my husband that we have to go out for dinner to celebrate with you. That's right. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm just, this is going to take me a second to get it pulled Hi, together. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Lynn. She likes the Would You Bend. Okay, Melissa loves Would You Bend. Uh, Golda says it's, Oh, okay. It's too old-fashioned, like maple furniture. 
Uh, would you bend? Is that what yeah. she's saying? Yeah. I Interesting. Are you, are you talking about would you bend? Yes, I think they oh, are talking okay. about would you bend. Um, now, Louise loves your working with it. So, you guys, even with the, you guys, even with the gold on it, everybody's still struggling? Uh, Mary said, I'm not a fan. I used it once. Uh, Julie loves it. Okay, let me get some gold in here now. Jill said, you're not going to make everybody happy. <laughs> Lord knows I've got two ex-husbands to prove Kathy that. Kathy said, I think the wood you bend's a bit heavy. If the depth was less, it should be more delicate. Gracie said it's too expensive. Uh, yeah. It is pricey. Patty likes it. Uh, perhaps they don't like it for the reason I do like it. Blending pattern and textures. That's Susan Miklicek. Kelly loves it painted gold. Kathleen said it stands out too much. Why not a nice ribbon braid? Mm. Brenda said, Mom sounded like she was reprimanding somebody about, what? Oh, no, 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 no. I was just mentioning that when gold likes or doesn't like something, we listen because Golda usually, oh, gosh, yeah. usually has a really good opinion. <laughs> usually poor Golda. Golda usually. No. I, I know. Yeah. I'm kidding. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to try and tone Mom this down a little bit. Mom would never reprimand any That's of you. That's true. Mom never would. Um, all right. I'm still struggling with this. So nobody, all right, everybody look away for a minute until I get it figured out. Isn't that funny? It's like when you're doing something crafting wise and your husband walks in and he goes, what you doing? And you go, nothing, just wait. I'll show you at the end. But I just need a second to pull. I had way too much of the gold on it. So now, now do you see what I'm, do you see where I'm going with this? I've got to tone okay. that down. Now, Carol and Joan said, it's such a beautiful piece. Can you do one side with just the solid accent without the wood? Um, I don't think it's going to make sense if I don't have the wood on it, but you know, they love, uh, others love the designs of it. Phyllis loves wood you bend. Amy says it looks great. I love it. Love it. I mean, uh, yeah, it does look flat. Maybe it needs a thinner. Oh, it doesn't look flat. Maybe okay, it needs hold a on. thinner piece. Too this, um, okay. So what do you think about that? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. But it needs some design in but it. it. So the just same? give Are it a second. To match it to this color, Mom. Okay, I said I would never reprimand anybody. But, but apparently that, that she's getting mean, ready to. Hold on. Her. I gotta get more green in it. Just give me a second. Everybody, See? just give me a second. I gotta pull it together. That's what I was trying to tell you. Okay. I'm just doing some little designs on it, and then I'm gonna go over my design. So just. Hold your horses. Okay, Barbara Davis says, no would you bend, just add a gold stripe. Just add a gold stripe? AJ Creation said, I love would you bend, but something about it on here is throwing me off. I don't know what it is. Is Maybe it it's really? I'm so shocked, you guys, because I was like, you know, usually I'm my worst critic. Irene said, it'll all come together in the end with the would you bend, just wait. That's right, you guys, <laughs> just hush it. You have great instincts. Sometimes it just takes okay. a bit to come together. Let me just tell you, I'm not thrilled with that. I need to keep working on it. But I'm feeling now pressure from my mother to pull it together. Um, okay, so let's talk again about this. So you guys are really struggling with this. Like, I'm really surprised by that. So. Well, Nancy Lewis says... The larger pieces of wood you bin on furniture makes it gorgeous. Layering colors and metallics on top of it takes it up a notch. Angela Anderson, thank you. It's too wide, Chris Kuhn. But yeah. here's my problem. It it is wide. I totally hear you. However, so was my space. So all I was yeah. trying to do was it's have so room good. to make my space. Um, I'm wondering if you guys, all right, so you know, I'm up for anything. Golda says, extend the turquoise. Yes, that's what I was just going to say. I'm going to extend the turquoise now, and let's just see if you guys prefer that. And if you do, then uh, no problem. I can whip that other stuff off. Instead of the wood you bend. Okay. Yeah. Let's just see if I can get the right color going. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit more brown in that. D. Uh, Lee said, I love other people using it, but it's too expensive for her. Just do another one with the wood you bend just to see how it looks. They're loving the base. That Is that what you adding. guys wanted? 
I gotta do a little bit of color on each Marshall one just to pull it together. But no problem. I can whip that sucker Fresh right up. But it's too wide. This is gonna kill my uh this is gonna kill my affiliateness with uh widget bend, you guys. Can you but include this? I now? see what you're saying because I I'm probably on board with you right now. Just give me a second to pull this together. But I might be on board with you. Well, Kim had suggested that you make a frame out of the wood you then and put it across the top and the bottom. Hey, Sharon Barter. Okay, Sharon's design corner so pretty. Cheryl, Cheryl Stamen says, you do you. You guys are loving that. I need a little bit more brown on this Susan side. Susan says, leave it. Susan Meklachek. Well, now see, Nancy said the other day. Okay, we so are you guys loving that side better? Even though we've got a lot of gold going on on the sides. Nancy said when you layered colors like this thing. Sharon that Halverson did, loves this more. You like would you bend for other items, just not for this. What like, about adding would you bend along like the bottom? They like what you did with this. Yeah, but I don't have all the colors I need for this. I know. Um, all right, so, so far. Comfy Nest with Grace. Hi, friend. Caroline We are used to lots of bright. We are blingy. Uh, make some color in the white handle. The that blue strip Victoria. looks great. You guys like that better. It looks beautiful to me. I don't think everyone is seeing what you see. Do we have any? Uh, Witchy Ben has different widths and sizes. They do, but this is all I have. Or do it on the bottom. All right. Well, let's get some. Are you guys thinking stripes up here? Because I was going to pull the, the blue uh, stripes up here on top. This is always such a crack up to me that no one can, nobody ever like agrees. But here's what I love about something like this. We can just do it freehand. Okay, here's a thin piece of form flex. All right, hold on. Mom. Let me just do some stripes here and see if you guys are gonna like this or hate it because we can always paint right over it. But I need to be able to see what I'm doing for a second. Okay. I'll try to catch up here with, oh my gosh, a lot of comments. Sorry, guys. And you guys, I don't know if you're seeing, but I'm using a mix of Burn Umber, Bahama Breeze, a green, forest green, and a royal blue. And that's what's giving me the color to match up for this. Hold on, I know this is like right now, you're like, I can't see a okay. thing you're doing. Susan Miklachek wants to know the name of the, um, oh, Susan, I lost you. Okay, the name of the medallion, the, what's the metallic? All right, what do you guys think of that? Yes, better? We'll find out, Susan, and we'll let you know. Better? Or, God, for some reason now I feel like all oh, this is too frilly for this, like this is too formal and this is too frilly. If it could afford every piece of widget bin on every project, I would. What about <laughs> That's my kind of girl right there. Would, would, they, would they like? Did you guys, that? okay, I get, I'm seeing a lot of hearts. Yes, you love that on the handle. Uh, I got a little cockeyed oh, on that, that one. Oh, that is pretty. Yeah, you guys like that on the handle, so that's good. They're loving it the way it is. Um, hey, let's try on the handle on this side. Sure, that's why you shouldn't ask us. Exactly. That's why I need just to keep my mouth shut. If you don't like the white, antique wax will tone it down. If I don't like the white, antique wax will tone. Yeah, we could definitely do that. This is a little dark. Let me grab it a little bit lighter here. Okay, Kathleen said, I have an issue when crafters insist on using a product even when it doesn't make sense. Yeah, but for in my head, it did, you guys. So if that's what you're saying, um, if you know, I, I um, and I hear what you're saying, friend, and I, I know it, I know where you're coming from, but I love the stripes. I also want everybody to know, I, that's why I rep so few companies is because I won't rep anything unless I absolutely love it. But I also think you don't have to love it. You don't have to love a project uh, or a, product with every project. Sometimes you're only going to love it once in a while. Okay, Anne and said, yep, too frilly and girly on the handle. Really? Okay. All right, so here's what I'm saying. Is it this that's throwing us off with the handle? 
because here there's no gold, it's just the handle with uh, extra wide stripes. Too whimsical. You want black inside. Oh my okay, goodness, Gail you said guys. two different vibes, Victorian then Waverly. I know. What happened? We were we were off to such a good start, you guys. Maybe tone it down with wax. So, are you guys feeling like this and this does not go together? Because that is possible. And you know what? I'm not going to knock it out of the park every single time. Please show them the beautiful combination of colors on that big flower. Gold on one side, blue on the other stripes. Uh, the stripes really make it fun. We can make suggestions, but there's a way to come about. <laughs> That's right. Thank okay. you. Um, okay, Pat Heater loves yeah, it's it just all. Different. It's different. Blend ahead, too whimsical. Add Maria gold wants edges. It black inside. Debbie, don't listen to anyone, Nancy Lewis. You guys are so funny. You don't love the stripes on the handle now, Julie. Paint over the wood you bend with turquoise. Remove the would you bend. <sighs> really? Uh, you guys all really don't like the would you bend that much. Uh, okay, somebody just said, let's try this. I heard that. Somebody just said, what about the stripes in gold instead of blue? Let's just try it. Uh, and let's do it on this side. Uh, let's do it where the would you bend is. Because maybe this is going to turn you guys all, all around. Great. Pam loves the would you bend. Maria's not going to invest in it right now. Kathy likes both the flower uh, styles. But see, guys, you know, we do this so that you guys know what you want to do on your stuff. So um, I, don't, I don't take this as judging or, you know, anybody dissing me. Believe me. I take this as we are all just trying to figure out what everybody likes the best. But I don't mind the gold stripes. The gold would you bend looks better. The other side looks too plain. Okay. But what do we think about the would you bend with the gold stripes? Here's what's so fun. It's just paint. So I love that we can do whatever we want. Nadine says change the side paper. You Nadine? Mean the ends? Hmm. Connie Keller says no. <laughs> No on the gold? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, for... the would you bend makes it look too crowded. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. The the gold doesn't bother me. The gold stripes look pretty too, it says. No and then and then Barbara said no gold stripes. Okay. We're just trying, you guys. It's just a goodwill piece, so we don't care. We're just trying whatever we can right now. Um, Kim said, maybe it's just too much. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me remind you all of the gorgeous piece that I just did. <laughs> so you all know I'm not a complete hack. Okay. AJ Creation. Do you have any other wood you bend? Like the teal. Oops, sorry. No. You like the teal stripes better? I think I do too. Um, Oh, for crying out loud, you guys. Now we've got our, I, now we've got ourselves in a real pickle. I still think this little thin one would be really pretty on there. Um, okay. All right, what about, let's just try this. Still loves the turquoise. Because we're here trying love stuff. Gold. Let's just try gold. all gold. I think the gold stripes does not work with the turquoise stripes. Well, Elaine said, I love the gold stripes better. Penny loves the gold stripes. I did not love the gold stripes. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I liked the gold. But stripes I, are good. Gold will be better. But I did not like the gold stripes. So let's just see what this looks like. I like the wood you bend, but I don't like the gold stripes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the side. Do you guys I, do this on purpose? Do you guys call, okay, e do you guys call each other? Are you guys all on a private I chat love right the sides now? And I love the center, but I don't think they go together. And then you guys all get on and say, all right, you say this, you say this. Okay, the gold looks better than the blue. The gold right here. I like the solid gold. <laughs> Brenda said it looks a little chunky. Can you cut the wood you bend in? You guys, the whole point Can of the wood you bend. Can you cut the wood you bend in half? No, the whole point of the wood you bend was that I had to fill in the extra space. You would have had to made all the stripes gold. Solid teal on the, the handles. handles. Solid teal on the handles. You have two yeah. vibes going on. You're yeah. right, I do. 
Um, Solid gold looks good. How about monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the monkey paper. All right, Nancy, so. Nancy said, leave the bendy wood on. All right, we've got the stripes. They're not even on straight, you guys, because I'm trying to do it upside down. Uh, I keep trying not to show that one because I'm not happy with it. Um, that, so they're not liking the ends. You're not liking the ends. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I probably don't love this end. I like this end a lot. I love it, but I think you're right. Well, maybe you can paint more turquoise on this one. No. Uh, okay, so we need to get another All right, you piece. guys, what are we gonna do? We gotta fix this. The I've never, I, there's never been a moment I couldn't fix it, and you know it. So we gotta figure this out. Can I turn it? <laughs> it's Pam <laughs> Elliot. Just turn it upside down, be done with it. No, this side is perfect. I love this. All right, side. mom it loves must be this. One. Mom loves this side and this side. Yeah. Or does mom love this side and this side? This the the turquoise stripes are too whimsical for the ends. This, I think, works. Maybe it needs polka dots. This does not work. This is, I'm struggling with this whole side. You love the ends. Susan, I did too. You love the magazine rack, Phyllis. You love the first. No, Kelly doesn't like the floral ends. The white is too stark. Well, we know that about the white. The white's gonna change. So if you paint the handle and the inside gold, it will pull it all together. If you paint the handle, okay, and the inside goal, or just forget it, send it to Gina. What? She said, just forget it and send it to her. Like it now with gold handle. And I did. Gold. I like the gold handle too. You agree with Barb? What the Barb's painted. I don't think good. the flowers flow together. Paint flower pot turquoise to match the stripes. This goes together beautifully right here. You love the ends. Ah, you like it much better. It looks good, solid gold. I think so too. You're feeling uncomfortable. <laughs> Lori, you and me both, sister. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm confused and feeling uncomfortable Debbie Waddell myself. Debbie actually likes the two different styles. You know? Okay, this looks, this and this yes. looks so much better than this. It really does. This is way too whimsical. Let's get it all gold. You guys all know it's got to be gold. So let's get this handle gold. Paint all the white gold. Yeah, all the white needs to be. Kathy Gabriel loves it, wants it just the way it is. Uh, I do think that the whole inside needs to be gold. Wanda said, yeah, I love it. And I have gold spray paint because there's no way I'm going to use 40 bucks worth of the liquid gold. But I do think this has to get done. Sue said, put dots on the end in gold. So she's saying just gold dots. So all the paper would have to go. Do you have another piece of that paper, Sharon wants to know? No, this is all the paper I had. So that's the straight. bummer. The gold handle is the way okay. to go. Now, here's the answer. Sharon said, get a glass of wine, then decide. Right. You guys, this is why I've been doing holiday stuff, because it's not as stressful as home decor. <laughs> Lou said, everybody's making me a nervous wreck. I know, Lou. This is why I, go, this is why I drink heavily. Um, oh. Okay. <laughs> So, okay, Susan is going to go get you a glass of wine. The gold is better. The gold is much better. But if the whole thing was gold, you guys, I feel like it's too much gold. Caroline said it's a keeper. Rotate it with your mood. Exactly. Fill it with plastic flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly plastic flowers. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Wine for everybody all the way around. Lynn likes it the way it is. Margaret, I went and got a glass of wine. It's <laughs> I do feel like... Name your price, uh, Nancy Lewis said. I love it. I feel like it needs... Uh, I want to say it needs gold everywhere. Paint the handle gold, call it a day. The yeah. inside is too stark. I get it. What about white dots in the black background of florals to make it whimsical? White dots in the oh, black background. This, I don't know. I don't know. This this is the black background. I was on such a roll, you guys. I was feeling so good about myself and this project today. All gold. I do like the stripes widened. 
Okay, Nancy. But I'm not going to lie. I like the Wuja Bend in gold with the gold handle. It doesn't bother me. This look doesn't bother me. It's this side I want to cry. Okay. This side I just want to get rid of. Kim Cochran says, I'm not trying to change the subject, but are you feeling better today? <laughs> I was, Kim. <sighs> I was until this all happened. Okay. Ms. Add Elaine the other said, one, you better call it a do, day. It always turns out great. Brown glaze the inside. Marina Garner, it just doesn't make sense. Antique gold the inside. I know. If yeah. I was going to do anything, it's Anvil the gold. Looks great. I like the two sides. Just start the bidding different. and walk away. It's true. Yeah. Antique the white. All right, let's just try antiquing the white real quick. Accent the would you bend in turquoise. Oh, uh, okay. Let me just say. I have turquoise antiquing gel. Let's try that. That says I'm still nervous. Oh, I know. Me too. But I'm not. Uh, uh, that's not a bad idea. Let's just try it. This is the antiquing gel. Okay. Except it's, Terry Chisholm said the wood bend painted in gold looks the best. So, oh, you do you, Debbie. <laughs> Yeah, easy for you guys to say. Sandy said, this is about to make me drink. All right, what about that, you guys? Was Sweet. it too stark before? This is with a, a teal antiquing gel. Something about this screams this might work. I like the gold handle and gold would you bend on the side you like. I think if you get rid of the white, we'll all look good. Everybody will be happy. Once you fill it, you won't see all the gold. That's right. That's true. What did you guys think? Keep the end you don't like at the wall. Exactly, Gail. Right That's now, right. about ready to put the whole thing in the closet. <laughs> Add the other would you bend. Uh, antique the inside, too. Okay, we're going to antique the inside, too. Uh, real quick, I've got it right here. Let's get some antiquing glaze in here and see what, what we can do. Nancy said you might start dropping sisters from the sisterhood real quick. <laughs> No, this stuff, it always makes me laugh because I think it's funny, but it's also, if you can imagine how stinking stressful this is for someone, you know. Karen, you have an idea, but you're afraid to say it. <laughs> Karen, say it. Everybody say else it. has We're said it. Ready all right, it. how about that, you guys? That's a little antiquing glaze. You got to admit, that looked better. Hey, Kelly said, just start the bidding and walk away. I know. That's what it, you're way behind me. I saw that a while ago. Once you add a bunch of magazines, the inside will not matter. That That's is true. true. But I do like the, I do love it. All right. Care from Western Australia. You gals are making my morning. LOL. The sides in the front don't make sense. Oh, That's for crying out loud. Crazy. I know it. All right. You guys, okay, you know it's getting better, right? Right. Okay, Eula said, remember, people, this is going in a room with lots of brown leather. That's true. That's brown true. leather and teal. That's what's happening, and I can't wait to put it in that room and show you guys. Keenan said, it's going to have magazines. Leave it alone. Well, but I do agree. It had to get, it was way too white. And right now we're just toning all that white down. Jill Babb said, I think you need to bring some of that black on the side panels. Maybe black stripe or bring. I'm not sure, honey. Maybe black stripe. Oh my gosh, Jill, that snow in uh, Flagstaff, I was floored by. We don't have, obviously, it's chilly here, but we don't get the beauty of the snow. How about using the leftover decoupage paper inside the carrier? How about I just give about, this back to St. Paul, Vincent de Paul, and call it a day? Um, all right, what did you guys think? At least it toned it down with the with that. Uh, antique the white stripes. Okay, do you not see the thick paint lines on the one side of the handle? What? No, I see. We've got so many things to deal that's with here. Not, that's right. that's so at the bottom of my list right now. All right, hold on. Somebody's... I love that you pulled the teal color from both sides, but neither ends match. Too dark of a black. No, black you guys. Color. So putting the antiquing on the on that. No, bad idea. At this point, <laughs> we have pretty much destroyed this thing. But now you all know what you're not going to do. And look, we're losing people by the second. 
Let me get this off. Paint the end if I can color get it. of the stripes. Paint the base on the end you don't like another color, gold maybe. You guys know it is very rare for me not to pull it together. So this is uh, With the darker end paper. You might try to tone down the rest. No dots. It's too Victorian for dots. No, I don't. That that was not a that was a. That was not a good idea. That was my fault. I should have just left that one alone. Let me get a little bit of uh, paint back on that. Just remember, Debbie, you have good eyeballs and it'll be fine. It's from Judy. Dawn says, I love it. The stain inside looks The stain amazing. looks so much better. Yeah. Yeah, Debbie All right. Baker says, much Look, I better. had to get that stain off. Or they, uh, yeah, I had to get that stain off. It was too dark, so... Um, are you going to wax the white stripes on the handle? How about you just throw it through the wall? <laughs> how, about, how about I do? Because right now I'm so stressed out. Uh, clear wax first. Yeah. Uh, Catherine said I'll pay the price. Yeah, let's ruin it. Throw it away. Spray paint it mirror silver. I think it pulled together, but too many opinions. Uh, no, lighten it up with clear wax. Yeah, the clear wax didn't lighten it up, you guys. That The clear wax was a bust. Um, because of the paper, and the paper just I grabbed so onto turn it. Turn all the comments off. <laughs> um, okay, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not hating it at all. Uh, I like a little bit of the turquoise gel on the widget bend. And I also like, I this side doesn't bother me. But this side makes more sense to me with the would you bend. Just not the same style. You're right, you guys. I might have blown it today. Keenan needs a Xanax. <laughs> I might have blown it today. This is the first time you'll ever hear me say that. But I think I might have blown it with my choice in papers. I was going for... Uh, I loved that look. So I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to sit here and cry and then figure it out. You'd be pulling your hair out, sissy? Yeah. Um, we just recorded the most snow. One time ever. Wow. Call it a day. You don't even know our stress. Did you put on a sealer before waxing? No, I did not. Because why would I at this point? Uh, leave the magazine open. <laughs> just leave the magazines over the sides. Nobody will notice anything. Come on, you guys. It's not perfect, but it's fun. Always, It's always fun. Uh, too many ideas are always confusing, that is for sure. <laughs> it is the beauty of creating. This is just like, if you guys weren't here, mom and I would be like, okay, no, let's try something different. But I don't have that, you know, I don't have that ability when, you know, 600 of you stayed watching me the whole time. <laughs> well, I couldn't like 400 of you have dropped off at some point. Um... All right, I got to keep working on it and figure it out because right now I got to be honest with you. The finished product. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I have maybe paint the ends teal. Cheryl Kortoski, thank you, friend. Bring out the wine for sure. That's right. But this side I love. This I actually kind of love. I agree, it's not perfect together, but I kind of love it. This needs to go away. Carol and Loopy said, I love it when you're stressed, you gain viewers. This needs to go. It is the truth. I don't know what it is about you people that you love to see pain and misery. Put it in the closet for now. Uh, did I mention that I painted that really cool chest over there? Marilyn said, throw it in the pool. Uh, all right, you guys. I got to figure it out. This It's been an hour and a half of this torture for everybody. Uh, Nicole will probably want it. That's funny. All right, you guys, I got to figure it out, and I will. I'll figure it out. I don't always have a great idea every day. Come on. Most days I do. You got to give me some credit. I'll be back tomorrow. I will have this thing figured out, and it'll probably look completely different. Who knows? We might bring the monkey paper back. You never know. Oh, but you lots of hearts. I'm going to figure it out, and um, I'll be back tomorrow with a uh, tomorrow... Uh, put some teal on one side. I know. I'm going to figure it out. There's there's something that's going to make this perfect. I just don't know what it is yet. And um, tomorrow, I'm going to come back with an Easter project. Because Lord knows, 
We need it. It's so much easier for me. <laughs> this home decor stuff is killing me today. But anyway, all right, I love you guys. Hey, don't forget, you saw this here first, a lot of you, the burn technique. It's just a miracle I didn't burn anything down. So I'll see you tomorrow morning, but tomorrow I'm on in the morning. Uh, 10 my time, 11 central. Yeah. And <laughs> Irene, I'm so glad this has been fun for you. Oh, uh, and Kim Whitmore, we've missed you. And I think it will look, I think you're all going to apologize to me tomorrow when you see how beautiful it is. We'll see. All right. I love you guys. Everybody have a great night. Drink up. Lord knows I will. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye.